All right. I think I am pretty much ready to get going, though. So tonight on the PS2 Gauntlet, I figured we'd play a little bit of... Let me get the game audio on here. Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. As some people may know, my birthday's coming up, and I was like, screw it, you know what? I want to play some games that I know I'm going to have fun with over the next couple of days. So tonight, tomorrow, and then Saturday, I'm probably going to do a birthday live stream. Or we already discussed... Probably going to be playing um, Kingdom Hearts 1, and I mean, probably something else to go along with it as well. I don't know what exactly off the top of my head, but yeah, we'll probably be playing something else to go along with that. Uh, oh man, what do we want to play tomorrow though? I still haven't really decided that, but it's going to be another game that I think I that I'm going to enjoy or know I'm going to enjoy though. Maybe Final Fantasy VII, Dirge of Cerberus, maybe one of the Mortal Kombat games, I don't know. Something fun. I just want to play some fun stuff. I don't want to mess around with the sports titles and all that BS right now. So we're going to play some good stuff anyways. Instead. Or as well. Or, I don't know, whatever. You know what we might do with the other few hours on Saturday? On my birthday? Since I'm not going to be able to do the usual Sunday stream, because I won't be in town. Maybe we'll do, uh... Maybe we'll do the Lord of the Rings game. That I would normally be playing on Sundays. Maybe we'll do that instead. That's not a terrible idea. Alright, so we get to pick an icon. Okay, we're just going to use Spyro's head. I mean, I don't think it gets much better of an icon than that. Hey, Mr. Noodle with the five bit cheer. Thank you, love. I see that you're here as well then. <laughs> Alright. I turned on... I really like with these older consoles using a scan line filter. Um... I really like it. I think it produces a great effect. I'm not 100% certain how well it's going to translate when being streamed. It may end up making the image a little bit messy. So let me know if it doesn't look right. I can I can turn that off pretty easily if need be. They sure do look happy, don't they, Spyro? Well, it's not every day that a dragon gets his dragonfly. Uh, right, Sparks. So, we meet again, little dragon. I'm back, and I'm stronger than ever. Who are you calling little, Shorty? Nobody invited you. This is an invitation-only party. Very clever, dragon. You know, you should join me. We would make a great team. What do you want this time, Ripto? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what do we want this time, boss? You're not hired for your brains, you dinosaurian land mass. Keep thinking and I will send you back to the place I found you. Unemployed in Molten Crater, begging for work from Nasty North. Now, hey, guy, man. Still remember this game from years ago? I've never played this one. This is my first time playing this one. I played a lot of the other Spyro games growing up, though, and I loved them. I'm hoping this one lives up to them. Since I've had enough to do with dragons, I thought, perhaps, dragonfly. <laughs> well, that wasn't supposed to happen, but you see, without the power of dragonflies, the dragons are nothing. Soon the dragon homelands will be mine. <laughs> Spyro, that little lizard totally stole all the dragonflies. Even Sparks is gone. Spyro, uh, don't worry. That was a, uh, what, a, a Spyro 3 thing, right, Molten Crater? I've only ever actually, like, completely finished the first Spyro game. I've played some of 2 and 3, but that's the only one I completely finished. That cutscene was a little bit longer than I expected. Uh, I am real quick though. I'm looking at the the Twitch playback, and sadly, the filter is not looking so great on Twitch. So I'm just gonna turn that off. It looks amazing on my end, but it's uh, yeah. 
Spyro 2? Maybe. Like I said, I, I haven't completely finished those two games, so... It could have been either one, and I, I could be wrong. <laughs> that was close, Fox. Listen, I think I may have figured out a way to catch those dragonflies. Spyro, stand back. I've never played any of the PS2 Spyro games before, so this is actually brand new for me there. Whoa! What'd you do that for? Drat, that didn't exactly work right. I'm still learning, you know, Spyro. The good news is I've created a powerful magic that will enable you to use different breath abilities. The bad news is you're going to have to find dragon runes to use them, since the spell scattered them in different parts of the dragon realms. Cool. Come on, Sparks. Let's get going. We've got a lot of work ahead of us if we want to find those dragonflies. Do you think we'll ever get a day off? All right. Can we get into the game now? The cutscenes are cute. Don't get me wrong, but I'm here to play the game, man. Let's go. But yeah, no, the, the first Spyro game, I played it a lot growing up on the original PlayStation, of course, and then I got the Reignited trilogy a little while back, and I 100 and whatever it is, 110%, 111%, whatever, you know, whenever you finish, finish the game. I, I completely finished the first one, but I never got around to doing the other two. I definitely want to, though, because they are amazing games, man, and they hold up really well, both the, the originals and then, of course, the Reignited trilogy even better, but... They hold up really well. I think a part of it, I've mentioned it before on, on streams and the podcasts I do and whatnot, the cartoony kind of aesthetic that some games go for really helps it hold up, like stand the test of time. Whereas like the games that end up going for hyper-realism and whatnot, I think are the ones that, at least from a graphical standpoint, kind of fall flat. So Spyro's kind of got it go that going for it, and then its gameplay is just timeless too, you know? It's just a... a, a a nice, simple platformer collectathon style thing, you know? You can't really go wrong with that. Well, I say that, but there's some pretty bad ones out there, so I guess you can. But with Bubble Breath, you can catch dragonflies on the loose. If you can get close enough to them, your Bubble Breath will trap them inside a bubble and send them home. Thanks to Bianca's magic spell. What? Okay, so we got all the tutorials and crap popping up, of course. Every time the bad guys come, they end up trying to steal the dragon treasure. They always take more than they can carry and drop it all over the place. Pick it up so we can turn it to the dragon elders once we're finished. You can even help. Thank you so much, man. Okay, so we can glide like usual. We can we can charge and the charge. Okay, so it still doesn't have a particularly tight turning radius, but it feels a little bit better than I remembered on the PS1. Camera control is on right stick. Excellent. Triangles, still first person view. That's still our fire. So everything's pretty much what I would expect. I don't know what the whole... He was talking about there being some, uh... Bubble breath? I'm not sure what that was all about. Oh. Okay. Ah, it's Bianca. Dragon rune to the dragon spirit over there. With this rune, he'll be able to combine dragon magic with my magic and grant you bubble breath to catch dragonflies. Oh, okay, so we still got to unlock the, the bubble breath thing. Okay, okay, cool, cool. Use the elbow button button to switch back and forth between fire and bubbles. Gotcha, we can do that. So we got to take this rune. So we collect that and we take it to the other to the other place to the to the dude. I think we can handle that, man. Ah, oh, that's a cute addition. Whenever you you burn the sheep instead of them just turning into a a bug for the dragonfly to eat there, butterfly, there's like a, a lamb chop that popped up. That's cute. Very cool. All right, so now we can switch between the two. So bubble breath, it's just that. It just <laughs> spits out a bunch of bubbles. All right. I don't really know what I was expecting, but I don't quite think it was it was literally that. But you know what? We'll take it, man. Heck yeah. All right, so we got the... I guess we're just exploring and gathering treasure? Like... Try charging these baskets or use your breath on them. You never know what you'll find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can do that. Do bubbles work on baskets? No. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Honestly. It would have been a little weird if the bubbles did somehow break apart a wicker basket, but... I mean, it could have been like a, a Pokemon bubble beam or something, you know? Those seem pretty powerful. They can actually hurt people, so... Sure, if you, you did it enough, you could break a basket with it. We can glide in midair. Hey, who would have guessed, man? Thanks for the hint, bud. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, is there anywhere in particular we need? I guess just follow him. That makes sense. The frame rate feels a little low, though. Like, the game looks great, but the frame rate does feel a little bit low, which, uh, for a platformer is not a good look. It, it could be worse, you know? It could be a first-person shooter. We could be playing Killzone again, which, <laughs> that was a little rough, man. Way to go. Do you see something shiny on that ledge over there? You can get there by hovering. To hover, press the... Tr triangle button at the end of your glide okay so that's the the little thing that gives us a tiny bit of extra height right at the end of our jump and then triangle yeah gotcha like i said not my first time playing spyro I've, I've been around the block once or twice here Nice work. found a dragonfly here so why don't we take it cool cool we can do that so we can try our bubble breath hey, it's bubbles. you oh i caught bubbles so wait, did he just give it to me? I didn't even have to use my bubble breath. I was just given that dragonfly. I mean, I guess that works too, but... Each one of these has a dragonfly magically sealed inside. If you complete the challenge, we will release the dragonfly. That sounds easy enough, but what's the challenge? What do I have to do? This one is a flame breath challenge. Once activated, eight targets will appear in the area. Find and flame all of them before the time runs out. Activated? How do I activate the portal? <laughs> you purple putts. All you have to do is walk through the gate. Okay. I don't remember... <laughs> when did the dragonfly start talking? I don't remember that being a thing. <laughs> Alright, so, I mean, I think it said we had a time limit, right? So where... Do we have the bubbles activated? We do. So I guess, technically, we're supposed to be finding some targets or something. Did we, did we go through it or no? I'm not sure we actually went through it. Because I would have thought something would have popped up again to kind of tell us what we were doing or where we were going. So far, the game's been pretty hand-holdy. I'd be surprised if it just randomly stops being such. Can we still ram the sheep? No, that didn't work. Butterflies are the key to your healthy golden glow. Each time you get a butterfly, you gain one health point. When I'm gone, butterflies will also bring me back. Flame or charge for butterflies. You don't remember she just thought you had a short term okay you have to do is charge or flame one of the small animals are running around when you do poof a butterfly appears yeah i ain't that new i i know that much about the game geez sparks have a little faith bud that's still one of the coolest mechanics in my opinion sparks i love that especially from the first game seeing him chase around the butterflies and eat them and then it being your health indicator and everything and then not only for, for the health reasons, but also... Oh, I thought we were in there. But also, uh, like, he collects the gems for you. So losing him is even more painful than just knowing you're going to be low on health. There we go. We got it that time. Okay. So there's our timer. The timer popped up this time. And the targets, are they the scarecrows? Maybe. Yes, they are. Okay, I see down in the bottom right-hand corner. I completely missed that somehow. I don't think we're going to do it fast enough here, though. Can we jump that high? Okay, nope. We can we can headbutt. I didn't <laughs> I didn't know that one. I think we're going to have to try this again. I don't think we're going to get it. There's still five of them? Yeah, no. There's no way, man. So there's one. Where's the other ones, though? I saw there was one back in the starting area. There's one there. Yeah, we're gonna have to try this again. That's alright though. We're still we're still learning the area, man. We're just we're getting acquainted with the controls and everything. That's alright. What is uh everybody's favorite Spyro game, if you don't mind me asking? Mine obviously has to be the first because that's the only one I've ever finished. So I can't really I, I don't feel like I can really say it's any of the other ones. <laughs> like <laughs> Are you not a dragonfly? Oh, wait. We're not using bubbles. There we go. I got tunes. Yeah, I'm sure I would probably like the second or third one better if I if I played through those ones completely. But seeing as how I haven't yet, I, it doesn't feel right to try to say they're my favorite. So as of now, I'm going to have to say the first one personally. But that could very well change. I do want to play through the other ones relatively soon, but I, I have so many games that I'm playing through. Obviously, doing all of this stuff, the PlayStation 2 games for the PlayStation 2 Gauntlet, but also, you know, just the things I'm playing on my own time, like Final Fantasy VII Remake and, and well, Final Fantasy VIII and 
pretty much just all the Final Fantasy games all the time. <laughs> you love Spyro? Do you have a favorite game though, Nate? Or just kind of in general? That's what I was trying to decide for myself. I mean, like I was saying, I think I have to say the first one. Because that's the only one I've actually beaten from beginning to end. But I love all of them. Oh, that's a pretty little heart, Mr. Noodle. What is that one? Virtual hug? <laughs> I don't know how that's a virtual hug, but it's a very cute heart. He's probably check out this big lock. It's surrounded by magical energy. I bet you could unlock it if you blast it with ice breath. Okay. So I don't have ice breath, so I can't get in there yet. Understood. Same here. I haven't gotten to beat the others. Do you have the, uh, the Reignited Trilogy Collection, Nate? Or do you only have, like, the originals or something? The Reignited Trilogy is really good from what I've played of it. I, I definitely suggest it if you don't have it. Sorry it wasn't good enough for you. <laughs> what are you going on about, love? Spyro, I was dreaming of a genie that turned into a nightmare when these horrible riptox kicked me out of my bed and threw me down this swirly thingy. Maybe the magic of dragonflies will help activate it. What? Oh, okay, so that's how we get into different worlds with the magic of dragonflies? Question mark. All right, that's fine. Can we go in water? Okay, well, that's not very deep water. That doesn't count, I guess. But <laughs> I know, like, in the, the first Spyro game, water didn't uh, go so well for us, to the best of my memory. But I don't know. I can't remember if that changed in the other ones or not. Got a lot of good memories with the first one. You need to get the Reignited Collection. Oh, yeah, no. I would definitely... I would definitely suggest the Reignited Collection, Nate. It is amazing. You've beaten all three games in the Reignited Trilogy? Man, I really need to. I will. I will. For sure. Someday. <laughs> I said, I just... I have so much crap that I'm playing through at the moment that I can't... Can't do it right now. But the first one was a ton of fun, obviously. And uh, the second and third, I expect to be just as good, if not better. So there was another one right here that I kind of missed the first time. There's one up there. I feel like that's a little backwards, though. Was there any hiding up here? No? Okay. I don't think we're going to make it. Because I spent too much time looking around. Uh, yeah, and surprisingly, I didn't own these ones. Like any of the PS2 ones growing up. I don't know why. Because I really like the PS1 Spyro games, and I owned a PS2. I'm, I'm very nostalgic about it, hence why this is the console that I'm collecting for first. But I, uh, for some reason, I never picked them up whenever I was younger. It's weird. I guess I was too busy playing, you know, Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper and all the new IP for, for the PS2. You even 100% each of them. Very nice, man. Very cool. Yeah, honestly, Spyro is one of the perfect games, I feel like, to 100%. Because they don't add, like an unreasonable amount of extra BS to it, you know? It's definitely work to 100% it, but it's not like uh, a lot of modern games where they uh, have like an online component that you gotta that you gotta deal with or you gotta grind for dozens of hours to collect all of the, the things, you know? It's much more reasonable in that regard. I feel like you just collect the gems, beat the levels, and that's all you gotta do. Which isn't too bad, you know? That's 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 understandable. That is doable. It's reasonable. I appreciate that. <laughs> that's why the only game I've actually platinumed, like got the platinum trophy for on the PS3, 4, whatever, was the first Ratchet and Clank game. And it's for that same reason. Like, I just, I really liked the game, so I kept playing it, collected everything there was to collect, beat all of the levels, and guess what? That's all I had to do to, to get the platinum trophy. So I appreciate games like that. <laughs> I don't I don't even mind a little bit of that's weird, the animation there played twice for that. I don't even mind a little bit of like grinding and whatnot. I, I like MMOs and JRPGs and whatnot, and just zoning out grinding sometimes, but it can be a bit excessive. For instance, Kingdom Hearts, one of my favorite game series of all time. I love the game, and I've hundred percent the the first game, except for the gummy mission stuff. Because I just <laughs> it was just too much, man playing through those levels that I, I didn't particularly find fun, and then just playing through them again and again and again to try and 
you know, collect every collectible from each area to make sure I get a, a perfect rank on every every course, all that BS. Like, it just wasn't worth it at the end of the day. So this one we need electric breath for, or, or whatever the hell it was called. I didn't, I wasn't paying that much attention, but... Do we get the, the pop-up telling us how many gems and whatnot? 199 out of 7,000 for the whole game. Do we get individual areas? We do. Very cool. I appreciate that. Oh, and we can warp in between levels. That's nice too, man. I really appreciate that. That makes it so much easier than trying to find all the portals and whatnot once you are like at the end of the game and trying to just complete everything. So we got the Dragon Realms, Dragonfly Dojo, Crop Circle Country, Lua Island, Cloud Nine, like the Superstore. Uh, <laughs> Monkey Monastery, Honey Marsh, Thieves Den, and Jurassic Jungle. Very cool. These must be the different challenges that we can do in the area. We found a few, but not all of them, maybe. I don't know. It's kind of weird how much lower the resolution of the texture gets whenever you're flipping the page there. Like, whenever you're just... The, the page settles and you're just looking at the page, it looks fine. But then as soon as you go to flip the page, it gets so blurry. That was <laughs> That was a little odd. They must have uh, struggled to get that running too well or something. I don't... I don't know, man. Alright, so we don't have enough dragonflies to unlock that next area yet, as far as I can tell. Um, This guy... He didn't want us to use the bubble breath on the statue or anything, right? Like, that's not something we needed to do. There is, like, a stone there, though. Oh no, we're collecting stones and putting in here. So different relics that we collect can go in here. And I'm guessing he's the one who bestows all of the different types of breath on us then. Not just the bubble one. That kind of makes sense. You just remember that Tom Kenny voices a few characters here? I'll be completely honest with you. I'm not sure who Tom Kenny is. Give me one sec. I'm going to Google that. I'm sure I've seen some of his characters before. Uh, oh, is he the, the SpongeBob? He's SpongeBob. Duh. I should have known that. Yeah, okay, okay. Like, I didn't even have to read the, the bio or anything. I just saw his face, and I was like, oh yeah, that's <laughs> that's the SpongeBob guy, man. Good work, Spyro. Use the stones to get to the dojo. Remember, Spyro, find the dragonflies before... All right, so... Ooh, wait, what? Where are we going? What is this? <laughs> I, did, I didn't know this random stone was going to take us somewhere. Are we... I don't know what's happening. We're, we're just... We're flying through the sky on a... a not a magic carpet. A magic stone with a nice uh, a lantern on the front of it. It's very cool. But I'm a little confused. <laughs> is, are we going to like a challenge stage or something? Or is this going to be a whole nother stage proper? Is the game ever going to load? That's a <laughs> That's another question. It is taking its sweet time, that's for sure. Come on, game. There it goes. Okay, I was getting a little bit worried, man. I played, uh... Oh, what game was it? Uh, Crash Tag Team Racing, or Crash Team Racing, not Tag Team Racing. And, uh, oh, that disc ended up being a little too, a little too scratched. It, uh... <laughs> It started, music started skipping. Some of the levels took a super long time to load. I've gotten it uh, resurfaced. It plays a bit better now, but... This disc I didn't think looked that bad, but that, that load time had me scared nonetheless. Okay, we can do that. Flame the dude, gotcha. So, so far though, I am liking the level design better from the, from the first game. The level design in this one isn't bad or anything, don't get me wrong. But I, I really like the uh, the more focused approach that the first game took, at least so far. Things could certainly change. Is this deep water? No, this is just ankle deep water too. I want to know if we can go in water or if we're going to die. Like, can we swim? Did Spyro, did Spyro learn to swim yet? It's an important question. Collect all the gems, please. Leave no basket unbroken, no gem uncollected. That is the way. 
having the full analog sticks controls, though, is very nice. Compared to the first Spyro game. Obviously, I mean, with the first Spyro game, you did have uh, the Reignited Trilogy. So you can use the joysticks on that. But I remember the, the original, original. Not being able to use the joysticks. That was tough. <laughs> we got Steffi. I wonder who came up with this idea. Like, were the dragonflies featured prominently in Spyro 2 or 3? They weren't that I can remember, at least. So it's weird that just like out of nowhere, the dragonflies are the big thing that we're, that we're concerned with. Right? They were they were all stolen and now we need to save them. Like, why? It's a little odd to me, but you know. Could certainly be worse. Spyro, thank goodness you had the sense to free me from that icy cage. Who would have thought the Riptox would dare invade the sacred dragonfly dojo? Spyro, do what you can to return the dojo to its peaceful state by freeing all of the dragon masters. Remember, Spyro. The way of the dragon is to be a dragon. The way of the dragon is to be a dragon. Remember that, everybody. If you ever want to follow the way of the dragon, just become a dragon, man. Sprout some wings, shoot some fire out of your mouth, that's all you gotta do. It's simple enough. Anybody can do it, really, if you stick your mind to it. <clears throat> Dragonflies are important to dragons, they're their companions. <clears throat> I get that, I just don't remember them really making like much of a, a fuss about the dragonflies beyond sparks in the at least in the first game. Like I said, never finished the other two, and I, I haven't played them that much, but at least that's what you gather, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess. But like again, I could be just just forgetting, but do they ever really show any of the other dragons with dragonflies or anything? Or is it just Spyro and Sparks? At least up till up until now, you know, with this game. Obviously, they uh, made them a little bit bigger of a deal at this point. And, I mean, I'm not I'm not complaining, you know. I don't really need much of a reason to explore a world in Spyro. They could have said, hey, we don't have any ideas. Just explore and have fun, man. And that would have been good enough for me. Like, <laughs> hey, Spyro, we uh, thought maybe you could use another adventure. So we took all of your precious gems and scattered them all over the world. Go find them, man. Dope. Done. That's all I needed to hear. Like, <laughs> I would have been all for it. Can we go under? No, okay, that was... It was worth a try. <laughs> all right. Did we miss anything? I don't think... Okay, we did. So the draw distance isn't amazing. That's something important to remember. Yeah, there's, there's gems. Holy shit, don't go off the edge. There's gems all over the place, but you gotta be relatively close for them to pop in. You think it's only been Spyro and Sparks? Yeah, that's all I could remember, too. And again, that's why it just seems a little weird to me that they're making a big deal about it all of a sudden. But, again, who cares? It's a video game. It doesn't have to make perfect sense. It just has to be fun. Alright, are we... Missing... Ooh, there was one hiding back there. Also, apparently the enemies from here are the same faction of enemies from 3. You honestly can't remember. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> You probably know more about that than I do, to be honest. Like I said, I've only ever uh, played a bit of 3. I've never finished 3. This game's lore is a bit confusing. <laughs> it's one of Ripto's bullies. He looks pretty dumb, but he's also big and fat, so you don't think you can charge him. Try flaming... I mean, I already kind of did. Spyro that most creatures have an aversion to anything above 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, that's fair. Yeah, I, I would say that he's 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 right on that one. That's a true fact, man. Just need to, I need to get a stamp. Just stamp it right on there. 100% true and verified fact. Most creatures have an aversion to things over 7,800 degrees Fahrenheit. Or really, just 7,800 degrees, man. That could be, a <laughs> that could be any measurement you want there. Celsius, Kelvin, Fahrenheit. I'm pretty sure, uh... I'm pretty sure living creatures would want to get the hell away. Oh, cool. So the, the fairies are like the, the checkpoints and whatnot. 
instead of having a pad that we have to save on, they just kind of zap us and save us. Actually, might have got it messed up. Messed up how? Still don't think it'd be hard enough for your fiance name. Hmm. <laughs> Are you sure your fiance isn't secretly a demon spawn? Because, uh, <laughs> that is hot with a, uh, two T's, man. That is, <laughs> that's a little warm. 7,800 degrees. Could you imagine? That's like literally melting flesh off bone at that point, man. Ah, uh, dude trying to get us. Come on, dragonfly, stop. Why are you running, man? Don't you, don't you want to get back with your, your dragon friends or whatever? Oh yeah, no, the frame rate of this game is definitely a bit low. Which, I mean, isn't that uncommon for old games, but... I don't know, I guess after... Ah, uh, you know, thinking back on it, I, I probably gave it more of a pass on the PS1 than what I'm, than what I'm really remembering, you know? The frame rate probably was a bit low at times. Holy crap, that dude's, like, really getting away from me. These guys are purely Ripto's minions, not related to the enemies from the- Oh, okay, okay, okay. She doesn't have a nickname related to that, the demon part? She doesn't have a nickname, or she does have a nickname? I think, uh, <laughs> I think your, your autocorrect might have screwed you a little bit there. <laughs> does, yeah. <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I thought you meant. There are friendly demons, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm not gonna say anything bad about your wife, man. She seems nice enough, or fiance, sorry. Seems nice enough from the, the couple times I've seen her, but, uh, you know, <laughs> I'd be a little concerned if she likes temperatures that hot, though, regardless. <laughs> I do like the visual design that they've gone for so far with the levels. Um, I mean, I wouldn't expect anything else from a Spyro game, because the visual design was excellent in the first few games as well. But say what you want uh, about the, the frame rate or whatever. It looks pretty. Even now, you know, I don't know when exactly this game came out. But we're on the PlayStation 5. This came out for the PS2. So, you know, it's not exactly new. Are you a... Oh, you are a dragonfly, aren't you? Or no. Are you a baby dragon? You're a baby dragon. Can I talk to you? <laughs> he likes the heat, man. He's just giggling every time we hit him with one. No, it's a nice nickname, lol. I mean, <laughs> can you say it on stream or like, <laughs> is that is that a, a nickname for just the two of you? That's the that's the real question here. I came in, I wake up feeling as I've been entirely boiling and she's like, it's cold. Bruh, I think she might need to see a doctor. That does not seem natural. <laughs> There's a talk here that can't be done without ice breath. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's kind of a uh, Metroidvania-esque or something. We're going to be unlocking things and then coming back through levels to, to unlock secrets or parts of levels that we couldn't get to before, etc, etc. I can dig that. Call her a succubus. <laughs> oh, man. Maybe she secretly is, man. You know? You've been joking with her this whole time, but... Uh, I keep hitting L1 for some reason whenever I want to charge. I don't think that was a, a a button on the PS1 to charge or anything. I don't know why I'm doing it. Oh, you know what it is? I'm trying to turn the camera. That's what it is. I'm trying to turn the camera using L1 R1. We got Shellac. Isn't that the, the candy coating that they get from bugs? For anybody who doesn't know, I mean, Mr. Noodle hates every time I bring this fun fact up. But a lot of candies that have, like, the sugar hard coating on them is partially made or dyed from, uh, the, the shells on bugs. <laughs> Task not talk, stupid fingers. Okay, well, I mean, you know, does the same thing at the end of the day. <laughs> there, there she is. There's Mr. Noodle with the, the, the sick emojis, yep. Yeah, she hates thinking about it. Uh, what was the one I was eating not too long ago? Lemonheads. And I was reading the ingredients on the back of it and that was one of them was shellac and i mean it didn't bother me at all i don't care i kept eating them they're delicious little candies but uh mr noodle doesn't like the idea of eating bugs even though she's been doing it her entire life unknowingly <laughs> all right this dude looks like he needs some fire in his life we can we can hit him with that real quick spiral son 
I'm sorry the dojo is in such a state for your visit. It's usually a haven of tranquility. It is here that dragonflies grow up and train to be dragon companions. Protecting young dragonflies is a dragon sensei's highest calling, you know. And Spyro, your efforts will result in much reward. I mean, it could be something that's used in ship making as well. I don't know. But, uh, it, it, and I don't remember. I don't think shellac is actually from, like, bug shells. Uh, that's something else. It's like a red dye or something like that. Shellac, though, does come from bugs. It's like a, a byproduct or, or something. I don't know. Never know. Been joking with her for years that she was bi. And then this year, she's like, I am. So maybe admitting to half demon is next. <laughs> oh, no, man. <laughs> Carmine? Is that the, uh, the, the food coloring that's made from bug shells? I can't remember this stuff, man. My memory is so poor. Are these, uh, rice patties? I, I don't know why I just put that together, but yeah, I think these are supposed to be rice patties. And these, these plants that I keep trying to burn and kind of getting upset that you can't actually burn are probably, uh, <laughs> the rice that's growing. I mean, this area seems Asian-inspired, and, uh, obviously rice is very popular in Asia, so that makes sense. Okay, so we just got the, the lightning thing. We probably gotta take that back to the, the dude in the first area, though, to unlock it, right? I'm assuming that's how all that works. The pigment. The pigment is made from... That's made from bugs. It's called Carmine. Gotcha. It was made from big shit. <laughs> no, 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 not not big shit. Little shit, maybe, but not... <laughs> uh, bug. Not big. No, nah, I don't know. I, I like big better. That was... <laughs> that was good. Now, I, it's some sort of, like, secretion or something. I don't know. Google, Google's your friend in this case. I, uh, I watch a lot of videos on weird facts, and as well as just look up weird facts all the time. So I have a, a bunch of just weird general knowledge that pops into my head about stuff like that. But I, uh, I'm no expert on any of it though, that's for sure. Uh, I don't know where that portal takes us, so I'm not gonna go in it yet. It might take us back to the area we came from, I'm assuming. What is what is that emoji, Mr. Noodle? <laughs> just a caution sign? <laughs> you just <laughs> you throw in some shade here? <laughs> it's boshi time. Big bug shit. That's what it's made from, man. It's just when a bug gets really, really plugged up and then uh, it takes a massive dump. They collect it all. And make some delicious candies out of it, apparently. You know what I do want to try someday? Mr. Noodle refuses to do it. Mr. Noodle's my girlfriend, by the way, for anybody that is uh, is curious why I'm always talking about her. Um, anyways, Mr. Noodle refuses to do it, but I someday want to try cricket flour. They just, like, take cricket parts and grind them up and uh, make a flour out of it that you can, like, bake breads and stuff with. I want to try that someday. I'm not going to lie. That portal leads to a mini game. Oh, okay, very cool. We'll go back to it here then. And yeah, because this level seems to be. Well, you know what? It might loop all the way around or something, and then take us back there to the start. So we'll just keep going, and then we can always come back and try out the mini game later if it doesn't end up taking us back. <laughs> What's with all the uh, sick emojis, Mr. Noodle? You know you uh, you secretly want to try some ground up crickets. I'll make you a delicious loaf of bread. I bet you wouldn't even notice if I didn't even tell you. Just make like a, a pizza or something out of it, you know? Something with a little bit of texture in it already. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, man. <laughs> How mad would you be if I made you a pizza one night and it turned out that there was uh, some cricket flour in there? Probably not like 100% cricket flour, right? You would need to mix it with a little bit of traditional flour too. It's a fact, very. <laughs> oh. you, on your way. you wouldn't trust my food anymore? That's not too nice now. Don't look at me, nature is just freaky. <laughs> it's true. Nature is very freaky, man. A lot of weird and wonderful things come from good old mother nature. So Mr. Moneybags here, I imagine he's going to steal our gems to give us a bridge or something like that. Spyro. In trouble again, I see. What a surprise. Dragons in danger or 
Something like that? Well, you'll have to pay me 200 gems to cross this mighty large chasm to reach any of the other dojos. Although I may be practicing compassion, money still has my soul. Why was the dojo built without a bridge between areas? That's what I want to know. But I mean, yeah, we don't have a choice. So we'll definitely pay him. You just saw two deer? That's awesome, man. I love... I like deer. <laughs> I know somebody that's scared of them, and it makes no sense to me, but... I really like deer. Now, obviously, it sucks whenever you uh, see deer jumping out in front of your car, though. That's no fun. And <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully they weren't too close to the road or, or don't end up in the road. But you think a message you did didn't go through? Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, I see. I wasn't paying attention to the mod queue. Some bugs do release a sweet nectar rather than shit when they shit. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why that one didn't go through when the other ones did. Because you, you said shit earlier, did you not? <laughs> like, so I don't know why the auto mod grabbed those ones in particular, but eh, whatever, it's, uh, <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I think that's kind of what it is. I don't, I don't know if it's like a... a I think secretion is probably more like the, the, the term there, right? But... Yeah. And I want to see that message as a reminder of how freaky nature can be. <laughs> oh, no. Were they deer, though, or the not deer? Wait, what? I don't I don't understand that message, Mr. Noodle. The other day, you came across five altogether? Holy shit, man. It's, it's going to be a, a good season for hunters. I haven't done that sin, since I was a teenager. But, uh... Yeah. I can... I, I know a few people that would probably be happy to hear there's that many deer out running around right now. Don't roll down the window and yell hello to them. Your mom and sister will yell at you. <laughs> they didn't want them to run out into the road and wreck with the car, Mr. Noodle. I think that's probably a, uh, a reasonable thing to get a little bit upset about. Deer are stupid sometimes. You gotta be careful. <laughs> And as you well know, because we, we got into an incident with a deer ourselves not too long ago, uh, deer and cars don't mix. At all. You can imagine that's what they used to make Shellac. Uh, density. My density? I will open that gate. That, it appears, is my density. I okay, there's no way you made that mistake two times in a row like that, bro. You're just doing that on purpose. This dude's a little dense, obviously. <laughs> hey, guy, man. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it, man. There's a theory that there are creatures that look like deer, but they just look wrong. What the hell? I'm guessing this is a TikTok thing. With how much time you spend on TikTok and the fact that I spend next to none on there, I'm assuming it's a TikTok ting. Ting. TikTok ting. You've seen a guy try to fight a deer. He got owned almost instantly. I can imagine. Yeah. I would not want to go one-on-one -on -one against a deer. At all. Like, not even a little bit. <laughs> Those things weigh just as much as I do and are probably five times as powerful. Like, I, uh... I'll pass on that for sure. <laughs> Leighton showed him to urban myth thing. Leighton showed him to you. Oh, okay. So like a uh, like a cryptid or something like that. Then something along those lines. You know they should have used instead of the L1 button to switch between the the powers. They should have used the D pad. I imagine they didn't because some people will probably want to use the D pad to do their their platforming. But uh. Personally, I think it would have felt really good as a way to switch between all the different kinds of flame breaths. There you go. That's what it's called. All the different kinds of breaths. Hey, it's Dawn. hey we got Dawn. Cool, cool. Didn't everyone learn not to fight a deer from Are We There Yet? I honestly, like, don't remember Are We There Yet, though. I've seen it, but, like, <laughs> I'm assuming that Ice Cube fights a deer at one point in it. Because <laughs> otherwise, I don't know why you would have brought that up. But yeah, I definitely don't remember it. 
Okay, I don't know if we can get back over there, so we're gonna go I, into this portal. That'll probably take us back to the first zone. No, it just flies us back over. Okay, cool, cool. That works too. I mean, that deer beat the shit out of him. <laughs> did they Did they then take that shit and make some delicious candy out of it? That's so gross, no. <laughs> no. Oh, man. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta get back into the, to the Spyro, um, what you want to call it? The, the habit of like, I, those big guys, for instance, I need to, to charge into them. I know the charging won't kill them, but so that I can get closer to them more quickly. Same with like these little dudes. For the, for the other ones, it's so I don't get damage. For these guys, it's just so I can freaking catch them. Fast little dragonflies, man. I kind of miss using L1, R1 to turn the camera. I know a lot of people really don't like that, but I I do. It feels right to me using L1 and R1 to turn the camera with. I don't know. I don't know why. And I guess it's it's probably just me. Like in Kingdom Hearts 1, for instance, a lot of people really complain about the camera in that game. I, uh, I enjoy it. Minigame portals take you back to where the portals are once you leave the minigame. That's helpful. Is this a, uh, a tank minigame? I mean, there's tanks on both sides of the portal, so I'm guessing that's kind of what it is. <laughs> Holy crap, I didn't realize that we've been uh, playing this game for 45 minutes already. I am overdue for a break before the auto ads start running. Gotta get those pre-roll ads turned off too. So uh, once we load into this minigame, before we actually play the minigame, I think I'm going to take a really quick break so I can just stand up, stretch my legs, get a drink, and then uh, run the ad so that the one, the auto ad doesn't end up running, and two so that we can get off the pre-roll ad. That's, uh, that's the big thing, honestly. So as soon as this loads, we'll just pause. Okay, we can't pause yet. We'll wait for the, we'll wait for the cutscene. I don't want anything to get missed here. Ah, oh, dude, do we actually get to control the, the tank? Is that what we're gonna do? Welcome to our tank training arena, Private Dragon. Now I've got a prize for you if you can destroy all the dummy tanks. But you'll have to figure out how to get past the gate. Okay, we'll figure that out as soon as we come back. It'll just be like two minutes, guys, and then we'll be right back. Twelve thousand years after other things that have happened. I don't know if this is actually part of a series of games or if this is like a standalone thing. I'm not honestly sure. Mura the Usurper, Emperor of Orenia, a realm far to the north across the sea invaded the shores of the kingdom of Medipa. Led by the infamous four riders, Murad soldiers laid waste to the villages along the Dahu River. One night, they came to Masan. The soldiers were looking for a boy with a mark on his hand. All right, so... Of the summoner. They're here looking for us. Cool, cool. Big surprise, right? We're big, bad, rare summoner dude that can do amazing yet destructive things. So a lot of people want us for probably to make us do their will, I'm assuming. This tutorial will explain the basic controls for summoner. You can quit this or any other tutorial at any time by pressing triangle. Joseph can be moved using the left analog stick to move forward. Push the stick forward away from you. Pulling the stick back toward you causes Joseph to move toward the camera. Ooh. <laughs> Pushing the stick left or right makes Joseph run in that direction. While Joseph is running, the camera automatically positions itself behind him. You can also manually control the camera using the right analog stick. Cool, cool. Moving in the right analog stick forward or backward zooms the camera in or out respectively. Very nice. Pushing left or right on the stick rotates the camera around Joseph. Imagine that. You can switch camera modes by depressing. Pressing down on. Why not just say pressing? Whatever. The left analog stick. The following camera modes are available. Low, the camera remains close to the ground. High, the camera remains above Joseph. Auto, the camera automatically switches. All very standard stuff. Pressing down the right analog stick causes the camera to automatically swing behind Joseph. Start button pauses the game. All right. That didn't take too long. Oh, I just had to, I had to get stretched out and get a drink and everybody hates the pesky pre-roll ads too. 
what I miss? Also, some mini games have two dragonflies. This one has just one, though. Good thing to know, honestly. So if I ever get around to finishing this game, I uh, or completing the game, rather, I'll know to uh, look for more than one in some areas. Hopefully, the pause menu will give us a little hints on that sort of thing, too. Uh, no problem. How do I control the tank? No, no, no. No problem, man. We got this. We'll figure it out. Is it timed? It is timed. Uh, I'm assuming we just... Yeah. I was gonna say, I'm assuming we just uh, use circle. Same as we would for anything else. Okay, so... Oh, no, no, no. Maybe it's not timed. Maybe it's a, uh, like a health thing. A health bar up there in the corner, then. I was thinking it was timed based on that bar looking very similar to the bar that we had to burn all the scarecrows, but it doesn't it doesn't look like it's going down. Can we aim up and down? Oh, okay, we can we can uh rotate. Oh no. <laughs> okay, hold on. Maybe we do need to figure out the controls just a little bit. So we can we can rotate the camera with Oh, wait. If we're sitting still, that rotates the camera. If we're not sitting still, then it just rotates the head. That's a little awkward. L1 and R1 don't seem to do anything other than recenter the camera. Didn't I move? Oh, oh, we can like aim. That's cool. I like that. Square. Square and X move it up and down. I, I, I knew there was some way because I moved it up earlier, but I wasn't sure how I did it. It's not time. That's just your health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it now, I think. I'm sure we'll still get destroyed somehow, but... They really need to uh, put a reverse in this thing here. That would come in handy. <laughs> it's a, uh, I don't know why. It feels weird that the music is still the same music that it had before. And that they didn't do like a, uh, uh, a special music just for this. Okay, so it is inverted controls, which honestly is a good thing for me. I do best with inverted controls. Nice. Um, okay, so we should be able to, I'm assuming, shoot both the signs and that will take down the, or up rather, the gate. Exactly. Any other hidden tanks or anything around here? No. I just did the, the classic thing. I, I need to get a camera. Because, like, I just did this stupid thing where I moved my head in real life to try to look around the corner. Like, <laughs> like I don't think I don't think it's going to work that way, man. But, um, is there bullet drop? I thought there was. Is it trying to kill, like, is it auto-aiming onto the bunny rabbit? Is that why it's not shooting the other tanks? I'm, like, I'm trying to shoot the other tank. But for some reason, it kept uh, it kept going down into the ground. Why does it keep doing that? It's like turning to the right. What the heck? That is so weird. Yeah, it's like uh, it's like it's the the shots are being pulled in a certain direction every now and then. There must be some sort of like auto assist or auto aim or something, and it's getting confused on where to what to shoot at. It's the only thing I can think of, at least. Like, maybe it was going for one of the little bunnies again or something. I don't know. Weird. It's a it's an interesting little mini game though. It's not as good as, like, the flying mini game and... and I almost said in Crash 1. In Spyro 1, though. I thought those were pretty fun. A little, uh... A little infuriating at times because they could be quite hard <laughs> but they were fun to try to complete get the the top score on well get the top score it's more like just collecting everything oh did i not hit it i could have swore i know my name's not my name my aim's not amazing but i thought i uh i thought i had hit it at least i already see the tank right there oh uh, how do we collect more health is it by hitting the bunny rabbits, like running them over? Cause it seems like we're gonna like we're gonna need some health here. We've taken a couple hits. Oh god, and there's a lot of tanks. Uh, okay, run away. Run away. We're gonna die. Is there a turbo button or something? <laughs> yeah, we're dead. Crap. <laughs> Do we have to go from the beginning again? Will you clear out the tank train? Yeah, I'll get him this time. Alright, we know what we're doing now. We got this. We got this. We know where everything's at. 
And I'm assuming running over the rabbits, because we regened some health at one point. And that's the only thing I can think that we did to to regen. Was uh <laughs> murder the poor the poor little animals here. That's <laughs> what something a little weird about Spyro that I never really thought of. They uh they really do go about promoting the uh the small animal murder there, don't they? Alright, and it's useless to try to stand back and shoot these guys. We just wanna we just wanna go in guns a blazing, man. Perfect. Oh, there's a dude. Get him! Get him! Beautiful. A plus. Look at them perfect maneuvers, man. Haven't even taken a lick of damage. Oh, man. So what's everybody else doing tonight? What's everybody been playing, I guess, is a more apt question. If you're uh, if you're in stream right now, you're probably either just using me as background noise for whatever else you're doing or, or watching the stream. So that was kind of dumb. But <laughs> what games have y'all been playing lately? I personally, other than the PS2 stuff I mentioned earlier, I've been playing a lot of uh, Final Fantasy games. 7 Remake and Final Fantasy 8 are the two main games that I'm playing off of stream and then of course on stream i've been trying to complete the lord of the rings the third age game which we are getting very close to we'll hopefully be completing here before too long i was hoping to finish it by this week actually but because of uh scheduling problems doesn't look like that's gonna happen oh crap we got too close that's all right i don't th i don't think we're close enough for them to for them to hit us at this point all right, did that, did that regain us some health? It did. Cool. Perfect. So we should be able to take, what, three hits now? And we can uh, go after this guy now that we got those other two done. You've been playing Fallout modded earlier, though you've since taken a break to lay down. I love some Fallout 4, man. A lot of people kind of rag on Fallout 4, right? Uh, like, my brother is one of those people, man. He he loves Fallout New Vegas. And, uh, I mean, he likes Fallout 4 and Fallout 3, but he always kind of rags on them as not being as good. And to be honest, I think Fallout 3 is my favorite, which seems like a controversial thing to say, I guess. But I don't know. It's the one that I enjoy the most. But then Fallout 4, I really like, too. And don't get me wrong. New Vegas is a lot of fun. But, um... But I find the storytelling and world in 3 to be more enjoyable to just kind of walk around and explore and experience a lot of the missions in fallout new vegas just kind of had me walking back and forth too much and it just kind of it wore me down right instead of having fun walking around this world exploring this world i just kind of wanted it to stop <laughs> like I, I wanted to stop being sent from new vegas to somewhere just outside of New Vegas to be told to walk right back into New Vegas and repeat 20 times like it just it was a little bit much but they rag on it because it has a more simplified system yeah I guess that and the the uh oh uh the dialogue system like my my brother doesn't mind for instance the the voice protagonist but he would have preferred if not being voiced and having more options but, uh, like to do some target practice? Nah, and maybe later, man. Um, but, like, I, I really like having a voice protagonist, personally. But I'm, I'm fine with either or. I did miss having a little bit more of, uh, dialogue choices whenever talking to someone. But it, it definitely wasn't a deal breaker for me or anything like that. And I really like the colony building mechanics, even if they weren't maybe quite as deep as I would have hoped whenever I first saw it. Like, it didn't have as big of a, an impact on the grand scheme of things. Like, you can just completely ignore it or, or whatever. But um, I, I spent way too much time building up <laughs> different different little outposts, though. So, I really enjoyed that. And I hope whenever they eventually make a Fallout 5, they expand on it a little bit. And then, like, Fallout 76, man. That one there, I was so hyped for. I'm glad I didn't end up getting it on release because, <laughs> obviously, it didn't turn out. Uh, the way that a lot of people had hoped, myself included, 
And then once I finally did get around to playing it, one of the first things I did was I captured one of the, the special points where you can set up a little factory to get extra, extra stuff, you know? Uh, the one that I set up, I think, was for ammunition. It may have been for food or something. I, I don't really remember. This was a while back now. But what really upset me is I logged off and then I came back and I was playing on a private world. I logged off and came back and it was gone. Like, all that work and time that I spent building up the the fortifications and getting my whole whole food chain going <clears throat> excuse me going and everything like that and then as soon as i logged off of my private world all of that progress was just wiped i understand like on a public world other people could come and capture it or whatever and and to free up resources for other people to get they they would want to um have it have it be wiped or whatever i i guess but, like, on my private world, man, I, I want that stuff to persist, you know? So that was kind of annoying, but... You hope they use the settlement building mechanic in ES6 to some degree. Yeah, I mean, same, honestly. I think most games of that type, right? Obviously, I wouldn't want, like, Spyro with settlement building, right? That would be a little bit weird. But most, like, uh, open world adventure games, I think, would do pretty well with... with with uh, some sort of settlement mechanic. Although, you know, saying that, now I'm thinking of, like, what if Legend of Zelda, uh, Breath of the Wild, what if it had a, a settlement mechanic? And, like, I wouldn't be against it, I guess, but at the same time, actually thinking about it, I do think it'd be a little bit weird, so... Maybe not every game, but at least all the Bethesda games <laughs> would, would do with that sort of thing fairly well. Oh, man, the camera is not cooperating with me. Come on, you little freaking dragonfly get in the bubble man stop running for me and just bubble thank you <laughs> cloudy who the hell named all these things did they just use like a random word generator and then uh <laughs> whatever it rolled to they were like yeah that's good enough that can be a dragonfly we got cloudy and blaze and ah oh, man i already forget the rest of them but <laughs> some some weird ones man uh, should we go up or down first? I mean, we're already halfway down here, so I guess we're going down. Oh, it looks like that was the right option anyways, because I don't see anywhere else to go. Perfect. So we go back up in the room. I'm really excited for ES6 whenever it comes out, Elder Scrolls 6. I'm excited too for, uh, Starfield. I'm a little... I'm a little weary about it, honestly, because they're making a lot of, uh... They're building a lot of hype around Starfield, and Bethesda, at least recently, hasn't been very good about delivering on hype, you know? The whole the whole thing with Fallout 76 and uh, all the stuff leading up to Fallout 76 with, like, the, the, the bags and all that BS. Um, the, the Elder Scrolls Blades game that they made, I think that's what it was called, but the, the mobile Elder Scrolls game really didn't live up to expectations. It just ended up being microtransaction, the video game or whatever. Um, I'm sure there's more examples, but point is they, they've had some disappointing things lately. And uh, how much hype they're building up for Starfield makes me worry that it's just gonna end up being another letdown. But I really hope it's not. Like from what they've shown so far, it looks cool and it sounds really cool, but uh. We could have another Cyberpunk 2077 on our hands, which wasn't Bethesda, I realize, but, you know, still. All hype, no substance. You have done well, little dragon. Freeing the dragon senses took much courage. I think this baby dragonfly will be safe with you. Well, they had the house in Skyrim. You just want that, but with build quality and options like you had in Fallout 4. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I would like the ability to build whole settlements, though. Even if it was just, like, one big settlement that you could build in Elder Scrolls 6 or whatever. I think that'd be really cool, you know? to Because, like, they also added with the anniversary update. I don't think it was in any of the DLCs, other DLCs. But, like, the ability to have farms and, and uh, hire people to help work on your farms... And so you can generate money and food and things that way. Like, it would be really cool if you could build up a whole entire settlement, right? And and have people working farms for you or, or running shops. Maybe you could get cool exclusive gear from, from adventurers bringing shops... Or, I'm sorry, bringing items to your shops to sell or barter with or whatever. Like, they could do a lot of fun stuff with it, I think, if they wanted to. Ugh. 
Oh man, you could even play as like a uh what if you were one of the 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 jarls or the kings or whatever, you know? And you had to build up your your whole kingdom or something like that. Like they could they could really go hard with it if they wanted to. Although if that was the case, like if that was your main goal for the game, I think it would be better as a spin-off title than a main title personally, but I still think it would be a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, as an option, I think that would do great in any Elder Scrolls game. But if they try to make it the main focus, I do think it should be a spin-off. We could probably fly down there, right? Did we come from over there? Ah, oh, man, I'm not sure. But it looks like we could fly over there. Now it's going to bug me if I don't try. We came from that way. I'm so lost. I don't know. Oh, God. Okay, don't. <laughs> oh, almost jumped into the chasm. That would have been bad. Did we come from over here? No. Um, Or did we come from over here? No, we definitely didn't because there's still gems all over the place over here. Okay. Oh, wait. What is this? Uh, What? What was that? That was weird. Like, the thing just moved from up there to this little dude? Uh... Thanks. You've been looking for this kite all summer? A dragon without a dragonfly is like peanut butter without jelly? No, that's not quite right. Um... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> I don't know what we did, but you're welcome, kid. Huh. Well, you're welcome, man. They have Sour Patch strawberries now. I'm not a huge Sour Patch person because I'm not much of a, a uh, gummy eater, but I'm sure Mr. Noodle would love that. Mr. Noodle loves some Sour Patch kids, man. I would eat them more if they were actually sour because I like, I like sour, sour crap. Hey, Mr. Noodle with another five bits. Thank you so much, love. Slowly but surely working your way back up on that bit boss there. I see you. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah, see, I told you she would like that. She loves her some Sour Patch, man. Watermelon ones are so good. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're okay. They're fine. <laughs> they're a thing that exists. I mean, you can't complain, I guess. They are delicious, but not too sour. Yeah, see, so it wouldn't really be for me. I just need to make, like, my own sour candies or something, honestly. Is what I need to do. With extra citric acid. So is that the portal home, maybe? So this one doesn't look like it has a mini game or anything attached to it. From what I can tell, it just looks like a, a portal. With nothing else really going on. Um, Wait, are we back to the starting area? I think we're back to the starting area. I'm not seeing any gems, and this all looks very familiar. So yeah, I'm gonna say we're back in the starting area. So real quick, wait, what? You did a great job saving the Dragon Master, Spyro. Oh, you're welcome, man. Yeah, no problem, fairy, fairy dude. Um, no. So where was the 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 first mini game portal that we found? Where was that at? So I want to see what the other mini game is in this world before we leave. Watch ADHD's World Most Sour Drink Video. ADHD's World. I'm, I'm assuming that's a YouTuber. I've never heard of them, but it's gotta be. I don't know what else the hell that would be. I really want to try. I don't know what the most sour drink in the world is. Although I've eaten straight citric acid before, so... Like, I don't, I don't know if it gets much more sour than that. And still be safe for consumption. Um, although, to be honest, just eating a, uh, a small spoonful of straight citric acid, I don't know if most people would consider that safe either. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, there are these, like, super sour plum things that Mr. Noodle, I'm sure, knows the name of, but, uh, I always forget. Gonna get a shower so you won't be able to hear if you talk to me? Oh, fine, love, get your shower. <laughs> That's acceptable, I suppose. Yep, and a wonderful YouTuber at that. I'll have to check him or her out sometime, man. Alright, so these things 
Omobushi or something like that. Okay. Yeah, like I said, she always remembers. I, I never do. So these things here, we need to kind of get up into it somehow to to pull the to pull the uh, the kite down. I guess. What what is what is going on? Your kite got stuck up in the tree. Well, I know that. Why are you talking to me now when I'm getting my ass kicked and you weren't before whenever I, I, I hit you with fire and was running around you and shit? Like, <laughs> you picked a really bad time to try and talk, kid. That's all I'm saying. Him? Okay. You have to try to, I'll have to check him out sometime. Does he just do, like, vlog type shit? stuff or like is it most like funny stuff and skits or gaming content i watch a lot of youtube i'm actually kind of surprised i haven't heard of him before to be honest with you but if he's not making gaming content then i mean that's probably why i don't watch a whole lot of non-gaming related stuff on youtube these days or well ever really to be honest all right try it the other minigame man this one's got dragonflies so i'm thinking something to do with flying Got another 134 gems. We are just raking them in, man. There's a reason he calls it ADHD's world. Yeah, I kind of figured it would just be all over the place, to be honest. But you never know, man. He also has a channel called ADHD's Life. So I'm guessing that one's like his personal vlogging channel or whatever. And the other one's just whatever random crap he feels like sharing. Bonsai Speedway is home to the most peaceful course in the East. They offer two challenges here, a peaceful obstacle course or a race uh, against those dumb ninja rip talks that have taken over the place. Which challenge would you like to try? Let's uh, let's do the time attack first so we can get a little bit of a feel for it and then we'll do race the ninjas. How about that? ADHD world is mainly weapon stuff. Oh, and challenges with some fun stuff. Weapon stuff. Okay. I watch one guy, it's like Michael Cthulhu or something, I forget exactly what his name is. He's, uh, he forges different weapons and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. But, other than that, I don't know if I really watch any weapon stuff on YouTube. The easiest way to win the time attack is to start with the rings, light the lanterns, bust down the rickshaws, and then chase down those done brick talks. After you've gotten used to flying around, you can always find a fast roll around the course. Bonsai. So, rings, lanterns, rickshaws... Rip talk. Rings, lanterns, rickshaws. Rings, lanterns, rickshaws. I'm going to forget this. Okay, so this is the flying one. Okay, okay. So this is kind of what I was hoping the other one was. Again, the music doesn't seem to fit the level at all, which is really weird. Oh, light the lanterns. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna take their their suggestion for it here, man. Hoping they're not they're not lying to us about what the the best course of action is here. <laughs> All right, and then oh shit, that's not the last of them. There's 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 more. I was thinking that was the last one for some reason. I think it's because that weird like loading like simple. To oh no, oh no no no. <laughs> uh, did it light? I don't think it lit. We're gonna have to go back to that one. Hopefully they gave us a little bit of extra time for this challenge. Uh, okay. Nope. Can you fly, please? Please? <laughs> please? Alright, so we got that one. Sorry, we still got two minutes left. Now, rickshaws? Can we... Can we just ram them? We can. Perfect. Uh... Where are the rest of them at, though? Alright, there's one. I don't know what path they take. I remember, like, it's the first one of these sort of levels on the... the the original game it's got the uh the the mine carts and like the best way to get them is to go against the grain i don't know if that's the case here or if we're just screwing ourselves but um all right well we got them on now we gotta find the rip talks i have no idea where they're at i remember seeing some of them earlier on oh man no we are we're so screwed we're not gonna find them Oh, they're flying. They're flying. Okay, there they are. Do we get any time back? We do not. 
So it's not like the original where we get time back for it. We have to just do it all in one go. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. We're gonna try again. We got it. For example, you bought as many Naruto-related weapons as you could find and tested. Gets indestructible stuff. Sees what it takes to break it. Oh, you know what? I do watch somebody similar to that. Uh, Tyler's Tube is the name of the guy that I watch. He does stuff like that. He just buys a random crap, tests it out. Quote-unquote undestructible stuff. Tries it out. Um, weird foods and things like that. He used to test out tape a lot. That's kind of the time I found him. He was testing out all different kinds of, of tapes and glues to see how much weight they could actually hold. Um, he also, like, gets snack boxes and Amazon product reviews. Just all kinds of weird stuff like that. So I'm guessing it's a similar sort of channel to that then. Tyler Tube. He's a good dude. I like that. I like that channel. They tried to build a thing that could withstand the airbow with things from Dollar Tree. That sounds fun. <laughs> like, not only to watch, but like just doing that even. That would sound like a, that sounds like a fun time, man. A nice afternoon activity, you know? Alright, so don't screw up the lanterns this time. How about that? That's, that's what we gotta do. That's what really screwed us, I think. That and, uh originally going the wrong direction for the the rickshaws i don't think that helped either three left this one here is the one that screwed me i couldn't tell like where the opening was i thought it was on the side and it most definitely wasn't all right there we go okay so now we just want to dive bomb and okay i would have liked to hit that one but it's fine it's fine now we're gonna go backwards against the grain because we should, in theory, get them quicker this way. Because instead of chasing them down, they're kind of coming to us, right? That's the that's the my thought process behind it, at least. How many left? Just one more. All right, and then oh no 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 no! He got away. <laughs> All right, now fly up. And take out the Rip Talks. Again, I think we probably want to be going the opposite direction of them. If we can. And hopefully we're like near the front of the group. One more. Ah, shoot, man. Alright, we gotta we gotta chase that one down. Is there is there a way to fly faster? Do we have a turbo button? Can you, like, shoot some NOS out your back end there? <laughs> we we need Spyro to join up with Sonic, please. He's rare enough that his YouTube has made me want to purchase an airbow and also collect Pokemon again. <laughs> Just so many different sides of the spectrum. Man, you should start collecting Pokemon again. Then we could we could play some uh, Pokemon cards. Or, uh, or they have the, uh, the Pokemon TCG, like, the online game, too. You get a... a, a Every pack of cards you buy, you get a, a code for a pack online. So even if we can't play in person, we could just we could play online. I love Pokemon. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Both the video games and the cards, man. Hey, we want a Dragonfly for defeating the time trial. Hell yeah. You don't have enough for physical, but you do have enough for online. I need to redeem all mine online. I have a crap ton of code cards that I've just never redeemed, but... Oh, I didn't want to do the time attack again. I hit the wrong button. I wasn't paying attention. All right, we are going to... Oh, what is Atlas? What is that? We got a... Oh, that's the... Okay, the game completion thing. I've never... I didn't look at the options, surprisingly. We have the, the save menu. Very cool. We can change... Oh, we can move the screen around a little bit. That's nice. I actually do feel like we need to move it up a little bit. So we're gonna we're gonna move it up. Oh, we could have went widescreen on it. That's that's nice, I guess. But yeah, whatever. Save game. Uh, no, we're not gonna worry about that right now. We have a little bit longer before we quit. Uh, give up though. That's what we wanted to do. So we want to do the other one, not this one. You can buy like a hundred codes for like three bucks or something. I know you can, but I refuse to personally. Like nothing against it for people that do. I just. I just buy the packs of cards and then use those. No, you... I'm trying to... I'm hitting the X button to skip through the text more quickly. But it keeps making me uh, select the stupid time trial. I don't want to do the time trial. I just don't want to sit here and listen to you go... Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> 
All right, I guess we just gotta, there we go. We just gotta wait for him. We'll raise the ninjas. You did it to have enough on there. I mean, they give you enough technically to start playing, but uh, yeah, you don't, you don't get a whole lot. And if you want to be competitive in any sort of card game, you do have to spend a fair amount of money most of the time <laughs> or get incredibly lucky. Sure to fly through each of the green rings. Your opponents are the famous gang of hang gliding ninjas, and they are pretty fast, but not faster than a dragon. The red dots will mark the course, so make sure you follow them. Fly through all the green rings. Use the red dots to guide you. I'm pretty sure you said both of those things already, but thank you for repeating yourself. Alright, so, I mean, as far as I'm aware, there's no way to speed up or anything, right? Okay, well... Hold on. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna restart that. Don't press triangle. Triangle sends you f head first down into the ground. So <laughs> that was that was a mistake. Uh, R1, L1 don't seem to do anything. R2, L2. Okay, so we don't have any special maneuvers that we can do like you could in the first game. Um, I know it says to use the red dots, but what's the point of the red dots exactly? Ooh, there's speed boost that we can collect. Very cool. That helps, man. That helps a lot, actually. Where's the next ring? All the way up here? Oh, God. Okay. So, yeah, so it seems like the thing to do is just kind of ignore the, the stupid red dots, man. Go off course. Get all the speed boosts and just freaking beat these guys like nothing. I don't know. I think this guy cheated. I didn't see him go into that, that ring there, man. I think he's cutting corners. Can we get a, a ref in here? Take a look at this. The music. Man, I can't get over the music. It does not fit like what we're doing at all. They really dropped the ball on this game with the uh, <laughs> the sound design there. It is, it's not amazing. Is it, uh, is it illegal to use our fire breath on these dudes, or is that okay? I don't know the official rules to dragon rip talk racing challenges. Are we, that takes us what, second place, first place? I guess it doesn't update until we pass a ringmate, nope. Okay, so we must have lapped somebody then? I'm a bit... We passed somebody. How did we not get a, a, uh, a place? See, we're gonna, we're gonna pass this guy too. There we go. Okay, so that took us to second. So that must be the guy that we need to... Yeah, no, he completely skipped this, didn't he? How did we get second place, man? They're cheating. <laughs> I'm gonna... We're going to try this one more time, and then we're going to take a, another short break. It's been a little over a half hour, so it is uh, it is time for a break. All right, so get the thing. Go up. Okay, so we're in sixth. Fifth, okay. So that's that's one guy. We passed one guy and went to fifth. Keep that in mind. We're going to we're going to pass this dude here shortly. The only thing I can think of is we must have been lapping people, but, I mean, that doesn't feel right. Because, I mean, they're slow, but are they that slow, really? And is the difference between first place and last place, like, that big? That I can I can just be lapping multiple people? We pass another, and we got fourth, though, so so far, so good. Maybe it just glitched out. Oh, I forgot about this one. Forgot about that star. That could have helped us. All right, so that's third. Very good. I don't. I don't think there's a shortcut through here. I hate how they tell you like follow the red dots, and there's absolutely no way you are going to win this race by following the red dots. Like, <laughs> I saw another another star over there, but like, ah, oh, what was that? Like a firework? If we had hit that, though, there was if it was a boost, there's no way we would have got back to the ring in time. Oh, God. Uh, 
this course is a little all over the place. All right, second. Oh, uh, no, we missed one. Off course, man. <laughs> Come on. Don't be like that. All right, one more try. One more try, and then I'm giving up on it, and we're taking our break. I really want to know what that rocket one does now, too, but... It seems like we can't even go back if we miss a ring. If we miss a ring, you're just, you're donezo. Man, it's a little hard to control whenever you got that speed boost, trying to get that second speed boost right there. But I feel like we might have to to freaking win. This first place guy must be one hell of a hang glider, you know? All right, then cut sharp. Nope, not that sharp. Must be, maybe it was this one, cut sharp. Yeah, 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 there it is. All right. Uh, okay, so we, we got it, but I don't know what it does. Can we press circle for a boost now or something? Can we can we shoot it as, oh! Uh, okay, I fired a, a, a firework out, but I don't know what it did. It didn't seem to actually damage the dude in front of me. Hmm. Odd. Maybe it's a li maybe it's a little glitched or something. Oh. All right. Is this is this second place? No. See, we passed the dude. We definitely passed the uh, dude right there. That should have been second. And um, we're on the final lap, man. Yeah. There's no way. We're not gonna win this. What the hell are we doing wrong? I mean, other than missing this one boost down here. I don't know what else we can do. Cause that that must be second then, there, and then first place has got to be the dude that's like passing the finish line right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's got to be first place right there, and he's 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 done. He passed. Holy crap! He, look at that. You can straight see him skipping the the finish line though. Cheating. They're cheating, man. That's how they're winning. All right, we're not going to worry about doing that again. I would I would like to, but like I, the completionist in me wants to finish it, but we're not going to spend too much time on one area. We are, however, going to take a short break, so we're going to get a bit of a stretch and a drink and get rid of those pesky pre-roll ads. I, of course, suggest everybody else does the same, and we'll be back in about two minutes. Currently have one health tonic some sort of sword here just a short sword i suppose and some clothing a tunic very nice what else do we have we have our character screen uh, again it's weird how the controls kind of like flip through things so quickly chain added blow standard secondary attack plus damage with amount of damage taken oh so are these like I think these are maybe moves that we can do. Maybe we can press, press like, the uh, the D-pad to do different attacks or something like that. Um, we have uh, standard stuff here. We got level, HP, AP, speed, blah, 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 resistances, AI, melee. Oh, okay, so this, like, we can gain party members or something at some point, and we can tell them to fill a certain role, it looks like, maybe. Very nice. All right, so I think that's probably all we need to know at the moment. The camera is currently on... High, auto, low. We'll do auto. Auto seems fair. Uh, already, we got some weird popping off in the distance here, but that's okay. We can get over that sort of thing. Not that big of a deal, and when you're playing a bunch of old retro games and whatnot, popping is the standard. Can we interact with the people? It doesn't seem like it. The frame rate feels a little off on this game. It's just, just first impression here. Like, everything's feels a little uh a little jerky right but let's see dialogue tutorial this is joseph's friend mullick and joseph can talk to nearby friendly characters by pressing x the game pauses a cursor appears blah 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 you can cycle through all characters in range with the left analog stick okay characters with important information have double exclamation parts above their heads once you have selected the character with whom you would like to speak press x again to initiate a conversation go ahead and talk to mullick weird i guess uh okay we worked in the fields planting weed and rye the day's shadows grew long over nato's hill i saw the ride them ride four horsemen with an army of butchers close behind well that sucks 
<laughs> when Joseph is talking to a character. That... All right, we're back. Uh, got a nice drink, a little bit of a stretch. I'm feeling refreshed, and we are going to leave this mini game behind. <laughs> And while I was stretching and whatnot, I looked over at my, uh, I have like a clock that also tells me the temperature outside and whatnot. 36 degrees, so fairly cold outside. Not, not you know, freezing, but fairly cold. I am super warm here in my room, though. I don't know why. Mr. Noodle, if you can hear me, I don't know if you turned up the heater or something down there, but, oh, buddy. I am feeling warm. I ended up taking my jacket off. I've been wearing a jacket recently in the, while I've been playing games on the computer, because, you know, trying to... Stay comfortable without turning up the heat too much. Got to keep them costs down and all that. But I felt myself starting to sweat. And I was like, Jesus, man. I'm going to have to take my jacket off. It's 36 degrees outside. But apparently that's too warm for me. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Oh. Oh, I haven't talked about it recently. And, uh, I mean, to be honest, I haven't gotten the chance to do a whole lot of work on it recently. But... I've mentioned before on stream that me and a buddy of mine, the Dorseman, are working on a video game, and he, I didn't get a chance to talk to him more about it, but he randomly texts me with some more ideas for things that he wants to do in the game, uh, which is good. That means that the, the game is on his mind again, and hopefully we'll get the chance to, uh, to work on it a bit more soon. Um, someday I would love to be able to share, you know, some, some screenshots of the game, some gameplay eventually. And then, uh, hopefully, you know, the, the, the goal someday is to actually release the game for, for everybody to play. So, yes, I, he, I think he was, uh, slightly inspired by God of War, which, <laughs> considering we're making a Metroidvania, is a little bit strange. But, uh, honestly, the things he was saying doesn't sound bad, though, you know? He just had some, like, uh, ideas for, for combat and how combat could work and whatnot. Oh, no. I think we, we glitched the game out. Uh, hello? Oh, no. <laughs> we broke the game, guys. Oh. Okay, good. Good, good, good. It, uh, after a second there, it let us go. <laughs> it, like, it tried to pull us into a cutscene, but couldn't. Thankfully, it seemed to give up after a moment, because, uh, otherwise we would have just been stuck there forever. That was, that was weird. You, you can... So this game here is fun so far, don't get me wrong, but I feel like you can definitely tell that the original developers aren't behind it anymore, you know? Like, that that somebody else kind of took over, took the reins, and uh, was working on it. It feels like more for the money, more because of the brand, like they had to make a game, than because they had some passion for it. Um, which is too bad, you know? But like I said, it's still a fun time. I'm still having fun with it, don't get me wrong. Definitely a game that I wouldn't mind playing more of eventually. Uh, but... If I had to pick, I would still be playing 1, 2, or 3. Probably the second one, since, you know, I've already completely finished the first one. Of course, someday... I don't know when exactly, but someday I would love to do the same thing that I'm doing for PS2 games. With every PlayStation 1 game, every PlayStation 3 game, 4 game, 5 game, etc, etc. Um, starting with the PS2 because it's my favorite console. But if all goes well and I'm still streaming and whenever uh, this ends and I, I, I still want to keep doing it, which I, I'm pretty sure I will, I'll probably move on to doing the same sort of thing with the, the PlayStation 1 next and then work forward after that. Um, it probably would have made a little bit more sense to start with the PS1 and then move on to the PS2. But PS2 is where all my nostalgia lies, so I, I started there. A, a little backwards, maybe, but oh well. Oh well, man. But yeah, you know, so if, if all goes to plan, hey, eventually we will be playing uh, the original Spyro games on stream because I'll be collecting them. <laughs> All right, so that dude wants us to collect dragonflies, but we got we should be getting a new breath, right? If we if we come over here, this this the statue spirit dragon will talk to us. Electric breath, huh? That's a little weird. Why aren't there like more dragons walking around? with all these weird different breaths and things if this is just a, a normal part of dragon life 
Why is it only Spyro? I don't know why- Oh, no, I didn't mean to go into the level again. The loading screens, man, don't make me- <laughs> I just barely walked over it. Give me a prompt. Let me choose if I want to go into the level. <laughs> oh, no. Well, guys, I guess, uh, <laughs> I guess we're watching this loading screen two more times. Ugh. Ugh. Nate, I don't know if you can still hear or if anybody else in chat that wants to talk, but, uh, what's everybody's favorite Final Fantasy game? If, if they like Final Fantasy games at all. A bit of a, uh, uh, loaded question, maybe, because a, a lot of people get a little heated about this, but I am curious. I know for me personally, it's the, the cliche answer, you know, Final Fantasy VII. I freaking adore Final Fantasy VII. But ten is really, really good. I like the first one for what it did on the on the original Nintendo for for birthing the Final Fantasy franchise. Um, I've heard a lot of really good things about Final Fantasy VI. I haven't played it yet, but someday I do plan on doing so. And I'm currently gonna uh, playing through Final Fantasy VIII and plan on trying to play through Final Fantasy IX shortly thereafter to see what that's all about. Admittedly, Final Fantasy VIII so far is. Uh, pretty low on the list for my favorites uh it, it's it's not a bad game at all don't get the wrong impression but it is a it's not even close to any of the other final fantasy games it's just got some weird ass mechanics you need to play them have you played any of the final fantasy games nate like uh any of the newer ones maybe i, I don't know if you were into rpgs when you were younger but final fantasy 13 15 Maybe 12 on the, the PS2. And they're all really good games. All of the mainline ones. Final Fantasy 13 was a bit of a letdown in the way that I don't feel like it was a, a good Final Fantasy game. Still a fun game, IMO. Just not a very good Final Fantasy. Um, Final Fantasy 12, though. Speaking of that one, that one's up there on my list of favorites. I really like... So ever since Final Fantasy 10. Ever since then, they've been kind of trying to move away from real, or I'm sorry, turn base and make it a little more real time. But in Final Fantasy 12, I think they did the best job of a hybrid system. Um, they gave you like gentle controls over, like you could almost program the AI of your companions, which is really nice. Um, and then it was. You could have it like turn based or real time. You could you could kind of have it either or. It was it was a nice mixture of the the two styles that they did there. Um, and then Final Fantasy thirteen onwards was was much more real time. Not strictly real time until Final Fantasy fifteen I guess was the first one that was that was truly real time. But uh, a mixture. A little of fifteen and you have played one. Yeah, one like I said. Going back to it now, one definitely is uh, not as good as the others, but hey, thank you for the five bitch here again. Love it. You always very supportive. Thank you very much. Um, what was I saying? Oh, one. Yeah, I mean, it's I, I love it for what it did in creating the series and the story is simple. It, it's not too super long. Like I, they did a lot of things good, but it's not perfect. Like, it, I mean, it, it's an early game, and, and obviously so. Uh, 15, though, I honestly really liked 15. My only problem with 15 is story pacing. Because, like, there's some moments where it just, you know, suddenly gets real exciting. There's a lot going on. But then there's other moments where there's just basically nothing, and you're just slowly driving around from place to place, and it can get a little boring. Um, that and... I, I always wonder what it could have been because when it was originally being showed off at like E3 and things like that, they were showing it as a basically Kingdom Hearts, but Final Fantasy. And I, I wish they would have kept those mechanics, those systems in place. And uh, they also showed like the story seems like it had a massive overhaul as well from what it was originally planned to be, which is too bad because uh, while the, the story it ended up with was good, I, I had a lot of questions and, and hopes for for the story that they were leading us into believing they were going to tell. So, I mean, you know, it, it's... I'm, I'm just a little upset about what it could have been, that I never got to see what it could have been. Um, 
but still a good game. I, I really like it. It's it's my favorite of the modern Final Fantasy games. Modern ones being Final Fantasy 13 and 15. <laughs> so, not, you know, not a whole lot to pick from there, but... <laughs> Anytime you see a ladder like this, just jump up against it to grab on, then use the left analog stick to move in any direction. You can jump while on the ladder by pressing X again to get off the ladder, either climb all the way to the top or press the X button while moving. So wait, Spyro can climb ladders? Whoa, hold on. <laughs> That's, uh... <laughs> Sorry. Spyro climbing ladders. That is weird as shit, man. What? What is this? That is not even a climbing animation. That's just him walking vertically. Like, <laughs> oh, and then jumping off of it? That is terrible. Oh, no. <laughs> that is so bad. Oh, man. Why, why did they have to add ladders to a Spyro game? Just have us climb freaking, well, not ladders, but like platforms. It's a platforming game. Just make us go up freaking platforms, man. Why? <laughs> Why ladders of all things? That is that is so bad. Wow. Okay. I mean, at the very least, like, it's not uh, something that feels important to the game. And, like, the system works. So I, I won't sit here and bitch about it too much. But it just looks so awkward. And when you're playing a game that's all about platforming, why the hell are you having me climb ladders and not just platform? I don't... I don't know. I mean, we can even fly a little bit. Like... <laughs> why Why do you need ladders whenever you have platforms and, and flight? I'm, uh... I'm a little lost there, but... Oh, well. Who's this dude? A blue crocodile? Are you gonna... Are you gonna talk? No. Oh, there it goes. We must not have hit the, the trigger properly the first time. Alright, well, I'll tell you what, Jimmy Bob. I don't really want to go to your sub-level. I want to explore this one a little bit more. Alright, so if we go through this, this is... Yes. Yes, Sparks, what is it? Hey Spyro, you found a challenge portal. Each one of these has a dragonfly magically sealed inside. I could have swore you told me that already. This one's a lightning breath challenge. Once activated, eight targets will appear in the area. Find and zap them all. So it's the same thing as last time. Why do you have to explain this again? Uh, how, oh, how do you activate it? You walk through it, you putz. Like, yeah, we've had this exact same conversation before. Um, so thank you for that. Oh, no. Okay, well, look. <laughs> I, I didn't need you to explain it to me again, but I might need a little bit of help actually completing it. Because <laughs> uh, we're obviously not doing so well here. Where's the rest of them? I see... I see one more here. Are there some over here? There are. Oh, there's some up top too, though. Yeah, no. I don't think we're going to get this first go. We're gonna have to come back. Oh man, there's one all the way over there too. So what's the path we want to? Oh, well, okay. Pulling us aside to talk to us means we're definitely not gonna get it. Once you're in the water, press and hold the square button to dive below the surface, then press X button to swim. If you need to, you can press square button to swim faster. Of course, your breath attacks don't work underwater, but you can swim fast enough to bash any enemies that get in your way. So yes, we can definitely swim then. That's good to know. I guess for now, instead of worrying about getting the rest of those, we'll just collect all the the dragonflies and gems and shit we'll come back for the for the lightning breath challenge portal thing so there was one over there so i guess the the way to do it's probably to start up top and then work our way like f go up top fly over to that platform right and then once we f fly over here come back down the other way or come back the the bottom path i mean like to get them all i'm um, guessing money bags lets us use his sub if we pay him enough money yeah we're not gonna we're not gonna worry about money bags right now though all right we're gonna get, we're gonna go try that again i think 
Maybe collect all the gems this time on our way up. Oh, you know what? It's gonna bother me if I don't collect all the gems later whenever we're doing the the lightning rod challenge thing. So we're gonna go ahead and collect these ones now too. Thankfully, Spyro's got his uh, inner Sonic going right at the moment. We are moving through this quickly. All right, and then we missed one like over here somewhere too or something, didn't we? This is the way we came in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's the way we came in. Okay. So what's the best way? I think we want to actually run through it from the other side. Maybe. Like this way? Like this. And then... So we'll get this one, which is a... Oh, shoot. Well, we don't have the right thing activated. That's not helping anything. Come on, Spyro. What are you doing, man? You're ruining it. Okay. Just gotta, just gotta run quick. Just zap it and go. Just zap and go. That's that's my motto now, apparently. Zap and go. I'm already like halfway out of time. There's no way, man. There's no freaking way. Uh, and go up. Nice. Zap. Go. Was there any here? There was. All the way over there. Oh, no, 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 no. Go up. Up, Spyro. Up. Up, Spyro. <laughs> Man, no, we're, we're definitely not getting this. <laughs> Alright, so how do we want to... I think we still want to start from the top. But I, I guess we need to grab that one before we come down here. Two, and then it was just those two over there. Okay. Yeah, I think I think we got this. We got a plan. We're on the right thing this time. That, that helps. That'll save us like 10 seconds. Not fumbling around with getting the right freaking breath activated. All right, seven left. Come on. Gotta go fast. This is uh, Sonic the video game right now. Or Sonic the Spyro game. Sonic the video game. Aren't all Sonic games Sonic video games? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just exactly what I said. Why are some of these so far out of the way, man? All right, we wanna, we wanna stop. I feel like we, we glide faster than we swim. So we want to we wanna glide whenever possible. And then we run faster than we do either one, so... I don't know if we're going to get it, man. It's actually pretty close. Alright, just two more. Two more, two more, two more. Come on. Come on. Uh... Uh, hit it! Yeah, boy! I didn't think we had it. I'm... Uh, oh, that feels good. That was great, Spyro. You completed the challenge and released a dragonfly. Hell freaking yes, we did. We got Alex. Hey, Alex. I don't know how we know all of your names when I don't think we've met you before today, but... All right, now we got to fly this uh, UFO, apparently, for... What was his name? Jim Bob? J Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy Joe? Sir, I need you... Why aren't you speaking to me? Uh, Sir? Is he broken? <laughs> Seriously, game? Hello? I, uh... I would like to fly your flying saucer, please. Oh, I guess we just stand on it to activate it. Okay, that's fine. I thought we could talk to you, but, you know, I didn't want to really talk to you anyways. Oh, wait, is this a whole sub-level? I thought this was just, like, a minigame. I thought it was going to be something here on the farm. I didn't know we were going to actually have to load into it. Although, I guess, like, with the, the tank thing, we had to load into that, though, too, didn't we? Now that I think about it. Come on, PS2 disc. Load, baby, load. Any day now. I believe in you. You got this. I need, I need to go over there and gently pet... <coughs> oh God, fuck, I'm dying. Gently pet my PS2. Don't tell it what to do. It needs to start working then. <laughs> oh man, the frame rate looks so bad right now. Space rip talks? Yeah, they were definitely running out ideas when they were making this game. <laughs> Okay, and uh, you're afraid you're next. Okay, I got you, Farmer Dill. You look just like Jim Bob or whatever the other one's name was that we just saw. 
You will? Golly, thanks. You just need to go around back to unlock the big red barn and rescue them cows. Why was the frame rate so bad there for a moment? Oh, yeah, see, like, over here? Oh, that is such a big difference. You can... Oh, and then it just chugs. Like, <laughs> that is so bad, man. Nope, okay. We can't bust through the wall there. I was hoping maybe we could just GTFO. There's aliens all of a sudden? I don't remember ever signing up for aliens. I thought I was signing up for a... Uh, I don't know the dude's name. Rip Riptide? <laughs> These vases are a little bit tougher. You can only charge them, but be careful. You don't get a headache. Really? A headache? Spyro looks pretty good, though. Look at him. His face got, got a, a nice bit of detail on it. I think maybe they should have took down the level of detail a little bit. If it meant, uh... Oh, did we just die? Can we can we not kill the space dinosaurs? Are space dinosaurs invisible? Mr. Noodle, you are the dinosaur expert in this family. Are space dinosaurs invincible? This is very important, love. Can, can I shock them? Okay, so we can shock them. I guess they just got a, uh... A couple good hits on me. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, you warned me not to get a headache by smashing a couple vases, but you never warned me not to run into the freaking wall. Shock the hell out of these fools. Hell yeah. <laughs> freaking space dinosaurs, though. Like, what were they thinking, man? I... <laughs> Wow. Oh, no, he's got a blaster. Nobody told me they were going to start using guns, man. This ain't fair. I'm just a dragon. Dragons ain't got shit on guns. Ha. I lied. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I thought we were going to be flying the UFO here. I didn't know this was going to be a whole other level to do. Sure, is that, is that your answer to our space dinosaurs invincible? Just sure? <laughs> I'm starting to think you're not really a, a dinosaur expert. I don't know, Mr. Noodle. I'm starting to uh, to question your, your expertise. <laughs> Why? We're not... What? What is this door? I can't headbutt it. I can't shock it. I can't fire it. It, it, it's broken. This game is broken. I'm guessing that door will just open later once we finish the level or something. You are the expert on space dinosaurs? Okay. I'm sorry. I should have never doubted you. <laughs> uh, green water. Oh, this isn't green water. This is green ground. Ew. I thought this was green water. I was going to be like, that's probably not something we want to stand in. Turns out it's fine, man. Is this a uh, one-up? It looks like a one-up. Very nice. Ten lives. Uh, surprisingly, that's one thing I will say about this game so far, compared to the other Spyro games, is there's less just instant death bullshit, right? Like, in, in the original Spyro game, at least, I, I can't speak for two or three that well, but in the original Spyro game, there was a, a lot of instant death pits and whatnot. And as I'm sure everybody knows and is tired of hearing, I hate instant death pits in video games. They were all over the place in classic games, and they annoyed the shit out of me. <laughs> hey, it's Akira. Uh, Asa? No, wait, hold on. <laughs> um, but anyways, yeah, so that, that's one thing I will say about this game so far, man, is that I, I appreciate the fact that there's not as much instant death bullshit. That it's okay if you if you don't make that jump perfectly. You just had to redo it. You don't die. That's nice. Ouch. Youch. So I don't even know if I can get out of this level then until we progress far enough through it or whatever. Thankfully, it seems like we can save... Anyway, right? Yeah, we can go to option save game, so that's good. Cause I don't know. We're running out of time for night for tonight. I don't know if we'll have enough time to finish it before we uh to finish this level before our time runs up. Also, was there two moons in the sky? 
Bruh, now I want a whole Spyro lore video. Because whenever he was flying around in the loading screen, I thought that was Earth he was flying around. But, uh, now I see two moons in the sky, and I'm a little concerned. Are we going to get Majora's Masked? Like, is one of those moons just going to slowly crash to the ground with this weird, creepy face on the front of it? If so, I would like to know. Speaking of uh, creepy things crashing towards the Earth, um, <laughs> I want to watch Don't Look Up. Mr. Noodle, I don't know if you can still hear me, but we should watch Don't Look Up. If we don't watch it tonight, we should watch it in the next couple of days, because uh, I really want to see it. And I don't know exactly what happens in Don't Look Up, but I think it has something to do with, like, an asteroid or something coming for the Earth, right? Something like that? You don't know about tonight? Well, okay, fine. If not tonight, then like I said, the next, the, it doesn't have to be tonight, but tomorrow night or something. We need to watch it soon. Because I, uh, I really, I really do want to watch that. Is that a, the Netflix movie? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it's Netflix. It's digital of some sort, but nope, not me, Dean. Nope, no cows. You can't remember who's in it? Oh, I, I don't know any of that stuff. I, uh, I, I don't even remember seeing, like, a trailer for it or anything. I just, I remember hearing people talk about it. <laughs> that's, that's all I really remember. It has, like, three bigger actors. Like, does it really have three bigger actors, though? Or is it one of those things where, like, they show off the three big-name actors, and then they just have one scene each or die or whatever? Like, uh, <laughs> like, I feel like that was uh, more common in the 2000s or whatever. Two? As two big actors? Uh, is it Ryan Reynolds and Jason Momoa, the world's two sexiest men? Or, like, Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence? Uh, okay, yeah. I can dig it. Oh my god! This Firefly is infuriating, especially with this low-ass frame rate. Hey, Mitnick. Hey guys, we just caught Mitnick. Ariana Grande is in it too? I mean... She's a celebrity, but I wouldn't call her a big-name actor. <laughs> right? She I mean, she did acting, obviously, but... Meryl Streep... Okay, Meryl Streep was pretty big at Once Upon a Time. She hasn't done a whole lot recently, though, has she? But... She's a... Uh, pretty well-known, I feel like. I mean, Ariana is well-known, obviously, but... Most people don't know her for her acting these days. <laughs> Chris Evans and Jonah Hill. Wait a second. So is everybody in it? Like, <laughs> is it just every actor known to man? I'm confused. Kid Cudi? Nah, -uh. No way. <laughs> what kind of movie is this? Right? It's starting to sound like some sort of bad parody movie with all of the, the names you're listing off. <laughs> like, it sounds like a, a scary movie or something, you know? Something stupid with all these random people all over the place. Tyler Perry. Hmm. We need to watch all the Tyler Perry movies, too. Speaking of. Wait. No, not Tyler Perry. Who made the, uh... The scary movies? Not, like, scary movie, the movies, but... <laughs> the, uh... Like, Get Out and all that. That's, that's what I was trying to think of. Uh... Oh, okay. This is just a platform. I thought we were gonna control it or something. Chris Rock? I mean, Chris Rock is a person that exists. I don't even know if he counts as famous anymore. <laughs> was it him? No. Oh, wait, no, I'm not thinking of Chris Rock. I was thinking of Kid Rock. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Chris Rock's still pretty well known. <laughs> the other, the other Rock brother. <laughs> no, uh... Um... Uh, it might have been Tyler Perry, but I don't think it was. He made, like, if you just search for Get Out, like, who made Get Out, you'll you'll find him real quick. But I, I can't remember the name of the, the dude that made, him, that made it. But there are movies I want to see. Get Out and whatever the other movies were that I always forget the name of, made by that dude. The newer horror movies from the past few years. Oh, and I just saw that our timer is up we are out of time for the night can we okay we can get to this checkpoint at least before we finish jordan peele yeah that sounds right that sounds right 
One of the guys from Key and Peele. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think... It, uh, I hmm, I want to say Jordan, but I don't know. I don't know. My memory is terrible. Absolutely terrible. There we go. Beautiful. Give us that checkpoint. Hit start. Go to options. Save the game. Yes, I would like to save the game. <laughs> oh, man. But all right, guys. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. Uh, Nate, thank you, man. Thank you, uh, sorry, I'm terrible with names. Um, Gaia, man. Thank you, Gaia, for, uh, for following today, dude, and hanging out, if you're still here. Appreciate that a lot, man, I really do. Mr. Noodle, of course. Anybody else who's just here and hung out for a bit and didn't talk, I really do appreciate all of you. Thank you so much, everybody. I hope you had a good night. I know I certainly did, and I'll be back again tomorrow because instead of Saturdays, I'm doing Friday nights now. Um, so I'll be back tomorrow with, uh, I don't know. I still haven't decided the game. If anybody has any ideas, feel free to, I don't know, tweet me or, or something. And uh, <laughs> I'll see you then. Bye-bye, y'all. Oh, the bottom half of the window contains a list of relevant topics that we can ask about. So pretty standard... Uh, you too, night, night. You too, night. Have a nice night. Jesus. You too, Nate. Have a nice night, man. <laughs> I'll see you, Mr. Noodle, in like two minutes. <laughs> Original Xbox had Morrowind, right? Been reading more of Strict Saving. They include fellow NPC students that have their own 